let's check out let's do it. what we believe are the vacancies or projecting the vacancies, if you will, the done deal. We know the big three, uh, Carolina, although Steve Wilkes, I think, should get that job. He deserves it. They battled their ass off. Uh, the Colts are probably the worst team in the NFL right now. They lose to Houston. That's a gut job. How about our friends over at DMVR and the Denver Broncos helping us get that dub today? Thank you. Hell right. yes, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Uh, leapfrogging the uh, Seattle Seahawks in the process. They, they actually won two games without Nathaniel Hackett, so we'll, we'll see. They're interviewing Jim Harbaugh. They're interviewing Sean Payton. Those are the done deals. I would like to add the Arizona Cardinals to that group right now. I cannot, so trending that way. Lovey Smith with the double birds for the Houston Texans saying, fuck your first overall pick. I'm getting this win with Davis Mills. You love to see that from old Lovey Graybeard. The Cardinals are on that list because, of course, they are. They've been on there since about mid-October. The Commanders, they beat the shit out of the Cowboys today. But poor Ron Rivera, he doesn't know the playoff rules, so he could get fired. And then Sean McVay, big time fraud, just can't handle the grind at 36 years old. Sean, you're, time fraud. You're, you're, you don't have kids. What are you doing? You got plenty of time. Take the off season off. Go to the beach. Uh, enjoy the Hang time. Cliff. You, yeah, right? You, you and Cliff can get a timeshare together. Trending that way. And then the sleepers. These sleepers now, it, it's getting really sleepy for Brandon Staley, yeah. who's playing starters today, inexplicably losing Mike Williams. McCarthy laid a big fat egg in the regular season finale. That was bad. Robert Sala lost seven straight games, a la Cliff Kingsbury. Not good. Dennis Allen today losing to Steve Wilkes. We'll see, although he feels safe, as does uh, the coach Stefanski in Cleveland. So I don't know. I felt, Bo, coming into this weekend, like, there might not be that many openings. And then shit kind of hit the fan today. Yeah, I mean, uh, a lot can change in a week, especially in a results-driven league. If you lose, if you put up a poor performance, if you put your franchise in in a tough spot, you know, the fan base and the owners, everybody's going to be calling for your job. So that's that's where we are. Now, I'll, I'll throw this in here real quick as we continue this conversation about potential vacancies. Cliff Kingsbury was asked post game about his job, Ooh. his future. Same thing as he told us earlier this week. He hasn't thought, he hasn't discussed anything beyond today's game against the 49ers, hmm. which they lost 38 to 13. Hmm. He, he looked like he didn't. I'm telling you, he's on the Frank, side. Get that Frank, you said, Frank, you said, you, Frank, you said he smiled after the game. Man, he smiled. He walked that was off. Boys. He shook hands. Yeah, he, yeah, he, gave, he gave a lot of love. Look, I'm, I'm not. I don't want him back. I said, I said it specifically, and I said it professionally. If I'm the receiver having a chance to come back and play this offense, I do not want to. I would not want to be in this offense the way it was called, the way it showed. Let me just say this real quick. DeAndre Hopkins played 90% of his football snaps on the left side of the football field. Mm -hmm. On the left side of the football field. Today was A.J. Green's first catch for a touchdown on the left side of the football field since he's been here. Like and, that's, it, and that, it was that's, a trick play. And it was a trick play. And he hit a jump over, he hit a jump over. It's, it's like, yeah. look, I, I'm saying like you, in the, in the NFL, when you're watching the Kansas City Chiefs, you're watching them move guys around. They're isolating stuff. They're moving guys. They're doing things specifically. I will say this here, DA. Today we saw our offense that took that took the field in the first half was a night and day offense I'd never seen before. We ran so traps, movement. we ran corners, we moved guys around. Yolo, I mean, it was Yolo coaching. It, it, it was it was Yolo. You only, you only live once. <laughs> <laughs> Frank like damn. What's that? Yolo. I knew what he was saying. I was like, yeah. it's like it was Yolo coaching. You forget, bro. Yolo was coaching. Bro. He played, he played yeah. with no, yeah. no face. I literally, yeah. I literally it was too, little, I was like, too late coaching. I literally yeah. said, who is this guy? Like, who is this guy that called plays today? Loose. Not, but guess what happened? You ex- you said it on the halftime show, Johnny. Guess what? We still got two quarters of football. We'll see what happened. We absolutely scored Those no points. Adjustments. We scored no points in the second half. No adjustments in the close. second half. They scored and, less than 20 but, in the last six of their last seven games. Bad. Check and the I think the other, And I think the other one, they, the they scored only 20. The analysis. Man, this is like the stats, the stats don't lie, man. How about this one? 49ers were lying, had the exact lie. same score. They got their ass kicked. 76 an improvement. To, to 23 against the Niners this year. They put up three year. more points. Way to go. That, I mean, I think that every, adjustments. I think everyone can understand it's a, re, it's a result based job and that's why and given social media given the the intimacy fans can be with hard knocks with twitter you know watch watching the game being immersed in, in a a football team 
you know, they want results. I yeah. mean, when you look around and you see all these yeah. other teams being competitive, I mean, it wasn't a great year statistically for the NFL. I mean, there was a lot of teams that, you know, right around the 7-9 and nine record, mm -hmm. you know, battling for playoffs. Yeah, and the Arizona crazy. Cardinals, I mean, we talked about it. Six, one game, you know, six, one, mm -hmm. you know, lost by one score. You know, four of those scores were, you know, double digits, but they were winnable games and two were blowouts. I mean, there were opportunities to win. And I think that everyone is hoping that there is change so you can, yeah. you know, that I think that everyone sees talent, sees effort, but it just didn't get the job done. And I mean, that's not good enough in the National I, Football League. I'm so game. over the injury excuse. And if I hear one I injury, bring it up, it, no, I bring not it up. from you. I bring it if up. I hear a certain owner talk about injuries tomorrow, I'm going to lose it. I'm going to lose it. This team got smoked today by a third string quarterback that made it look easy, a seventh round pick because he was part of a culture that rose up wow. and supported him. Yes, the Cardinals are missing players, but man, oh man, never did it feel like Kyler Murray was supported in that way. It felt like, Kyler, put on your cape. Go save us against mm. the against the, the Rams earlier this season or, or save us against the Raiders, right? The Cardinals got their ass beat in the opening game with minimal injuries against the Kansas City Chiefs. Yeah, yeah. I just yeah. I can't I who, can't deal with the with the injury excuse. Who won over under that we that we, we gotta go back to that show? Who picked over under in terms of wins? I think you picked the under, didn't you? It has to be me. Because I didn't think we was going to do crap this year. Said it has to be me. It has to be me. See, I had, I had I, like I can, under. I, can, I, 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 I already I see it on, on Twitter. I don't like those receipts. Those are, no. Those I, are well, no. I don't want to. Vegas said to. this was a playoff team, and we ride with Vegas here. <laughs> like, no. Of course we do. We ride yeah, with DraftKings. I don't like, I'm here. This is from Craig at AZ Sports with the team. Craig Greer. Yeah, he does a good job. with. He and Paul Galvisi talked to Jalen Thompson. Mm -hmm. And this is the narrative that I'm starting to see now. Jalen says it's very unfortunate that he and Beecham are the only players to start 17 games this season. Jalen didn't just say that. I think they were kind of corded into that. Like, how frustrating was it with all the injuries this year and blah, blah. No, no, no. This team was bad. This was a bad team with bad players, with bad personnel, not drafting and developing well. It was a house of cards, right? And it fell. They did not have the depth to sustain this. They went one and five in the division. I don't get that narrative out of here. Media, do better. I'm just, I'm just, I'm guessing, Bo, that that was an implied, hey, the injuries really took a toll. Weren't you guys the only people to do that? Yeah, but the, the guy on the, you know, the other part of that equation and Kelvin Beecham talked to the media today or this week mm -hmm. and he wasn't making the excuses for the injury. I mean, he was, he almost like joked about, you know, all the different dysfunctional issues that, that kind of plagued this team off the field. He, the, the speed racers. That's a quote from Calvin Beach, yeah. and when he's talking about, you know, I'm sure it's he, a culture he didn't thing. Say it about Hollywood Brown, but that's where you can kind of just connect the dots there. The hold ins that we never had confirmed that happened during training camp. Just the different things that just just knocked this team down. You yeah, know, yeah. it was it was just a, it was a, it was it was death it was by a, a thousand heap, cuts, heap right? Problem. I mean, it was, and it all added up. But at the end, of, I mean, it it does. You don't get to return. The status quo after a four and thirteen team season just because oh you had a bunch of injuries it just it doesn't happen I mean a guy like uh, like Mike Vrabel will probably survive it in Tennessee they had more injuries than the Arizona Cardinals mm -hmm. and remember the Titans yeah. they lost seven straight to to lose, to finish the season too right yeah uh, but they were way more competitive they won more games than the Arizona Cardinals I mean that's that's what where a coach can elevate where they're, they're losing talent due to injury we're not getting that. In, in Arizona from the coaching staff and the front office. Here's another quote from Jalen Thompson on what needs to change for next year. Details and team chemistry will be the two biggest things for us to turn it around. Details, meaning they were a top five penalized team each of Cliff Kingsbury's four years. So I, I that that's a Kingsbury, that's an innate in his DNA. They are not buttoned up. The details are not there. And then chemistry, I mean, that's... The coach is a, is a gel guy, is a glue guy. Bruce Arians, maybe not everybody loved each other in that locker room, but damn it, he made sure that guys got along. And they it, respected him. That's they right, and it translated them. on the field. Chemistry comes from the top, and it trickles down. You can't overpay J.J. Watt and A.J. Green and James Conner and Zach Ertz to come here and fix your chemistry alone. They can't be expected to do that. The Cardinals tried to Band-Aid their chemistry problem, their leadership problem with veterans, and those veterans got hurt, or they couldn't do it alone this year, and it, it was obvious, Bo. Let's talk about some undeniable stats. Jacob, do we have these as far as just how they finish <laughs> under Cliff Kingsbury, the Arizona Cardinals? It's not just a 2022 thing. It's not 
2021 thing. It's an every season <clears throat> thing. I mean, this is infamous. We've seen it, how he finishes dating back to his days at Texas Tech. I mean, he's been a coach for 10 years. He hasn't fin- finished a single season strong. Two and five from uh, oh from God. November on. Three and six, four and six. One and nine in 2022, 2023. That's 10 and 26. That's a 38 win percentage from November on. December, uh, it's worse. Six and 16, 37 win percentage. I mean, it's just not getting it done. Oh, and five. They had a no win December. You can queue up the counting crows long December there for, the, for this five. team. Just brutal. Uh, those are undeniable numbers. The results league, the results aren't there. Not enough notches in the win column. 